I have noticed that uh, the crafting in this game is more like a, it's more like gambling in a sense oh this is where I came in of course I go around in circles but um, it's fine this is how I get uh, used to the area this is what I was looking for <laughs> and hopefully I don't die here but you, you need to start somewhere and you start with skeletons that do more damage because they have a support item now a support thing now because of this text I don't really see what's going on there but I think I got oh, a long bow uh, this item is is unique I need more pockets that's that's fine what happened oh my god the amount of items that uh I, I definitely need more pockets can you buy more pockets that that is a question like with real money I believe maybe I don't know can you do you get more more slots uh, let's let's see if we can find the um, yes throwing that away uh, the this bowl looks awesome and it has uh, three slots and two links which is I, I like the bowl let's let's kind of identify the bowl oh, elemental damage no physical damage <laughs> Oh, but if you have lightning damage, I think this could be great for another character, not mine, but another character. Huh. Okay. Do I want to grab? It's, it's very... Do I do the thing with the portal? Just for a bit. I do the thing with the portal. I can buy more stash pay oh, okay, so you can't be buy a bigger inventory. It's fine. Um I can I can do the portal thing where I um, I'm I just go and uh, grab the stuff and then use another portal to leave it uh did i leave other things here since we're doing the portal thing no it's fine I so uh, it, these didn't fit in anyway not that one I need I need to see where I'm going the portal <laughs> yes hoarding is a thing you you can't you can't ignore it especially in a game like this where you have you have to sell stuff to get stuff to craft stuff it's it's all a game of chances you may want want to change the skills you're carrying with you you may need some slots others not so much well, why why is the necromancer ignoring me did, did i do something to it i mean i'm not you know a bad person but ignoring me that's just rude man come on necromancer are you what were you doing there? Oh. And I'll just be ignoring that. Because uh, we're here to find the, the black, the uh, the men in black. You know? The, there are some men in black here. And I don't think it has to do with aliens. And them erasing memories. I think it's more like we are evil and we wear black. Something like that. Um, th there's definitely a, a lot of chambers here to go through. Uh, and doors. 
Um, the you, 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 the no, face that way, face that way, okay. And check the chest, it, it looks nice. It's not, it doesn't give me... Let's check out the map. So this is a dead end. But that may be it isn't. Oh, it, it, why did I press that? It's near tab. Near tab, that's why I pressed it. Hmm. I do need to take a drink of water. Just a little bit. Hello. Um, I want to kill you all. I hope you don't ignore me. I, I, I found out this hurts my feelings. If you ignore me. And I'm not asking for much, just your attention for a little bit. Do I want to explore every little tiny bit of this place? I got cursed or something. Are you the one cursing? Yes, you are. Come here. It's okay. If you don't want to come to me, I will come to you. Can I not? Where did you go? It went away. The, sh the, the, the ghost was ignoring me. That's not cool. What did you drop? A medium mana flask. That's fine. I maybe can use it. Actually, I can't. I, I mean, I, I, I have better. Oh, so that's the level thing you were talking about, okay. So maybe I should check out the level? Entering the level 2. But oh, this is so creepy. If this was in first person, I would be... <laughs> I would be really scared <laughs> to explore the area. Or even in third person, like from behind the character. But since it's isometric, I think I'm I'm okay. I'm better. Ooh, well, why 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 do you have the, the the things that spark, sparkle? Thankfully, the things that sparkle uh, don't make don't don't take too much damage. At least to me. Or, you know, that at this stage, maybe they sparkle, sparkle at some point uh, and become more powerful. Why are there so many sanctum chambers here? Is this related somehow? I don't think so. <laughs> I make them pay with blood, yes. And um, I should do a seven days to die stream, yes. Uh, I do want to do that. It would be... It... Oh, when I do that, uh, I will be very, very scared. And it, 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 that game, I can't relax playing that game. I mean, I don't feel like I'm playing a game. I feel like I'm running for my life. It's very, very strange how that game can fool my brain into thinking I'm in danger. Oh, see, see, this is when they become dangerous. Oh, and there is this guy and he does the sparky thing. Huh? Okay. This one is better. I think that one is better as far as projectiles go. So basically I have two projectiles and two melee close up um, skills to attack. And the skeletons which I entirely forgot about. <laughs> but they are awesome.
Oh man, I need more packets. Yes, the, the, you do need popcorn when you're watching me play Seven Days to Die. Oh god. Uh, it, it's like a horror movie. Uh, where am I going? This way? I, I feel like it was this way. Until I kind of took a detour without even thinking about it. What is that? <laughs> How is it you thrive when everything I touch turns to dust, Shadow? Piety. You're the one who blocked the way. Well, what? Why am I frithing? Frithing because I'm everything. I keep Helena, okay. Is it because I'm leveling up? Uh, Helena, where are you? Like, really? I have issues. She appears to be somewhere there, but... I'm gonna go kill that, uh, that thing that slaughtered everyone. And I need to help her. This one is the thing, okay. Well, do the thing, I then. But the thing is, like, really not that big of a problem. I'm I'm so high level for this area. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I it's not it's not really um, exciting because I'm too high level. Helena, now you're here. That's so I weird. Was after a creation of Melagaros called the Baleful Gem. It's nearby, and it's something that heartless bitch must never get her hands on. Please find it and meet me at that Asmeri village by the river. My days with the Ebony Legion are done. I got the gem. No, I got the gem. Uh, can I use the gem on the, the thing that is Maligaro's spike? Because as far as I can tell, this is Maligaro's gem. No. I'll just go talk to Helena in town. What is this? I bequeath this transmuter device to you, Inquisitor Maligaro. In okay. Of your devotion to our sublime art. May it be the chariot that conveys your dreams into reality. Malachi, Thaumaturge Laureate to the Empire. Yeah, it, it is... Probably, oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just clicked on it again, which I usually do without thinking. Um, so if I wasn't over leveled, everything would be more difficult. I would need to figure out more things. So I don't think it's better for my learning um, if I'm over leveled because I get the wrong impression that I know what I'm doing. <laughs> when really I'm not uh, that. I mean, I'm doing something here. And I have an army of skeletons, but you know. I can summon 21 skeletons. <laughs> Man, I was lucky to get this skill. <laughs> At least it's. I know it's useful at this stage. Probably later on it won't be. I don't know. So I need to travel to the forest encampment. Do I have any more bosses to kill? I don't think so. Okay, so Val skills are. Uh, they are fun. I do want to know if they are something like. Um. Is it a common thing to have Val skills or to use them? Is it something you, you really want to get to? Why? Why am I stuck? <laughs> it's okay, this can be fixed with a quick portal. No, don't attack the portal, go for it. Um... Yeah, so I, I have been wondering about the fall skills because that took me totally off guard. Uh, I found the corrupted zone. I 
you know, cleaned it up. And at the end, I got Val skills. I found the gems and I took them and only later realized how important they were. But is that like a common experience or not? I don't know. Just asking. I have quests here. Let's talk to Helena. Helena. Helena, hello. hello. I gave the Ebony Legion my faith and my loyalty, and it offered me nothing but fear and death in return. Thank you for freeing me from both. I have nothing to give you but my gratitude and my knowledge. I know you have no use for the former, so let's hope the latter makes up for it. Piety would have concurred with Eremir's theory about that northwestern ruin. The Val were a powerful civilization, predating oh. even the Eternal Empire, and Piety very much wanted to see what toys the Val might have left for her to play with. Okay. Yet we couldn't budge them, not with that giant of a tree holding them fast in her roots. You now carry a cure to that problem, or rather, a useful illness. Uh -huh. Use the spike to inject the baleful gem's calibric extantia into the roots. One day soon, Piety will find her way into that ruin. You need to get there first. Okay. The will never stop pursuing someone they consider a traitor. I'm a danger to everyone around me and not long for this world if I can't find a place to hide. Based on what the Asmeri have told me of this region, the Dread Thicket is rumored to be a terribly dangerous and wild place. The Blackguards will never search there. Let's travel separately to avoid detection and I'll meet you there. Okay, 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 okay. So Val is a civilization. What is the auto mod doing? Oh my god. So uh, my chat has an auto mod because, you know, it, it has to be moderated, I guess. Um, and um, it showed me the message and it, it, it said it was uh, stopped for bullying or something. Are you bullying me? Atlas hugged. When I, actually you're explaining the the skills and the builds and the stuff and the Val and the game to me, so thank you. So most optimized builds are built around one or two skills and lots of support gems. Lots of skills have Val versions and they tend to be used for bosses or tough packs of rare monsters. Your corrupted zone is called the Val side area. Most of all of them have a couple Val skill gems at the end. You can also make your own Val skill gems by corrupting a regular gem, though it's gambling. You corrupt stuff with Val orbs. Okay, 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 thank you. Got it. I hope. I hope I'll remember that. <laughs> You're actually very helpful right now to me, because um, I, I get a, a fuller picture of this game. Which is what I want. It is strong in Felshrine. You touch the stones, you will feel it. Okay. Okay, so the Felshrine ruins and then you get to the altar. Oh. I need to find a waypoint somewhere. There. And I need to get uh, all the quests. The girl. She is alive. She wants to stay with us, not to go back to her people. I say we take her traitor's heart to the chief. Ask that the warriors in black leave us be. I sleep less, but no more, thanks to you. Elena gave me this. Use it or cast it away. I do not care. I have no time for Helena's breed of peace. The campaign can take long, yes. Oh... Uh... Especially if you're faced with decisions, like, oh, come on, man. You're giving me a, he a headache. Oh, this gives more poison damage and a chance to inflict poison. When you poison an enemy, um, while you have this buff, you gain virulence. Oh, okay. This is a buff. It has a one second cooldown, and for how long are you buffed? I don't know. I, I like this. Which one was it? <laughs> I moved the mouse and now I can find it. It's, it's this one. 
So uh, Agony Crawler has three to five added physical damage per virulence. You have minions. Oh, you have the virulence. You have that. That's not. That's the end of it. Minions cannot taunt enemies. It's an aura. You reserve part of your mana, and it's permanently on. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, it does seem like the, the only option for me. Um, so this is an aura. It says spell. It, but it grants a buff. So I think that's okay. Can I put it here or I can put it anywhere? It doesn't matter if they're linked. This is my other aura. <laughs> So, um, where is it? Is it here? Yes. What build am I going for? It's the Dianim build, uh, the noob build, where you try out stuff and you, you think it makes sense and then you realize it doesn't work and then you actually go with the guide. <laughs> that's, that's what will happen eventually. Um, but in all seriousness, I'm going for Chaos Damage and Poison um, as my main things. Um, let's, let's, let's look at this. So now I, I, I got the Poison thing. I got the Remedy. And uh, I'm interested in, you know, having him be very good with Critical Strikes. And that's about it. I'm giving myself room to um, think or rethink things because, you know, maybe mana mastery is a thing. You want to make sure you always have mana. I mean, who knows? The, the skeletons were not planned and yet they, they're kind of a big deal now. That's why I'm not using a guide, because I know myself, I get lazy. If I'm using a guide, I'm just gonna read what the guy wants me to uh, to do. Like, what does the guide say here? Oh, that. So I'll do that. And not really think about it. And then I would know nothing about the game. I would be like, yes, I follow a guide and I know nothing about how things work. And that doesn't seem right to me, I don't know. We're gonna go do do the crypt thing. Is that what did I? Oh, so safe and sound. <gasps> safe and sound. I get my own hideout. They were gonna do that. That that's what we're gonna do. Where search the dread? Ooh, hello. Thank you. The alerts always scare me. I just I don't know how to turn them down. Sorry. I'm sorry if they also scare you. No, it doesn't say where I'm heading. I have to search for the dread ticket. Oh, ticket. <laughs> where was the dread ticket? Is it here? Mm, I don't know. We're gonna do the, the this thing because I don't want to run around in circles right now i just want to um travel to a crypt it sounds like a nice place to be in and um i have skeleton friends that will join me not these ones but you know my 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 normal friends these these are my friends oh orb of transmutation don't leave stuff around just lying around Oh, uh, I wanted to kill them for a split second. No, they are friends. They don't follow me, but they are friends. Okay. Well, what are the chances that... Scroll of Wisdom, take it, take it, take it. So it's it's actually worth going through these um, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, did I? Do I have the thing on? Do I have my own thing on? My my. This thing on. Now I have it on. 
the the new thing I was doing the 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 new thing you know oh that was my creature I was trying to kill the the scorpion thing it's okay it takes a while I mean I'm more spectacular now see that's the, the, the that's my creature I'm doing that with the big scorpion that that's kind of cool huh it's the game manages to surprise me, which is, you know, no surprise, considering uh, <laughs> I'm new to it. But uh, it does offer some things that, you know, they're not predictable. Like, I read the spell, I knew what it was doing, the buff thing, but honestly, you don't know until you kind of know. It, it takes a while until you understand the power of an army of skeletons that you just command and then you watch it destroy everything. And you just attack from time to time. You and your scorpion and an army of skeletons. How is that even possible? Oh my god, I'm, I'm, I'm so overpowered. <laughs> I'm really not, probably, but... <laughs> I feel overpowered. Yes, that that is how I would describe describe my uh, my experience with some games. Sometimes I know, and still I don't know. <laughs> uh, that that happens a lot when you just start with a game. Because you think you've figured out some stuff and then you're like, yeah, I know what this does, I understand it. And then you, like, have a big realization of, I actually knew nothing. You know nothing, Jon Snow. Or better said, a uh, casual player. So where is that altar? Am I still... You know, am I bound to? <laughs> yes, it's fine. We're just exploring then. We will travel to the crypt if we, I think we'll find it if we just go along this wall. What is the blue thing? There is a blue thing there. Oh, this, this is a thing that has... Um, this has things like that, things trapped there. I don't know how to, how what to call them. What is this? Oh, I get an essence if I uh, right. I get an essence. Oh, uh, sure, and I get to to, to be uh, fed on by vampires that want to. Yes. So I got uh, some muttering. Yes, I need more pockets. I got the thing with the essence. Upgrades a normal item to rare one. Okay. That will take me to the... I don't know where that will take me, actually. Maybe that will take me to the crypt. Because I'm not in the crossroads. Yeah, this is the crypt. Oh my god, that's, it's a good thing, yeah, it's a good thing I checked it. Oh, I can travel to my menagerie just like that, that's nice, and I gotta do the first quest here, safe and sound to get the hideout, it's okay. Not now, now we're in the crypt of doom, and I get to see where I'm going. Why, why is it so, uh, so quiet? I mean... Did I disconnect? Every chest I don't open is a mirror I left behind. Are crypts loud in your experience? Yes, they are filled with people partying. <laughs> no, but they are filled with monsters. That, that's what I meant. <laughs> but this one is like... Oh, okay. 
And finally, I found some something to kill with my awesome scorpion of doom. Oh my god. I, I still can't get over that. It's, come on. Hello, you fire wielding things. Um, do I need to use my second hand, my other hand? <laughs> I was just playing it with one hand. Oh, I can break the urns. Sure, I'll just be a vandal destroying urns in crypts. Oh, my, my character was a criminal anyway. Uh, what am I looking for here? Something? Root? No. The golden hand. So I'm looking for a hand. Guys, uh, have you seen a hand? That's golden. I mean... I heard it was a good thing. Um... But I don't know where it is. Maybe it's on the second level. Because this one also had like level one and... I'm gonna assume the crypt has more uh, more levels. <gasps> a thing! This is a thing that I need to not die. I need to not die and to go like this and then take out the skeletons to go <laughs> against the other skeletons and then... Uh, Take out the, the the scorpion, and then no, uh, everything is okay. The way some mobs spawn and kind of trap you, <laughs> it makes you really want to to have a, a skill like this, um, where you just dash away. You guys, is this the welcome wagon? I mean, I feel important now. Is there any more? Any more spiders? More pockets, it's fine without the pockets. Just gotta get rid of... Are we getting rid? Yes, everyone is dead? Yes. I'm a bit confused and oh... Yeah, um... The, the scorpion man is... I still don't recognize it as uh, mine. I get kind of, you know, one side of me is a bit freaked out. Like, I think it's gonna attack me at some point. You need pockets, I get that. You also need a sense of direction, dude. I'm just scavenging through, uh, through graves. I I'm not a grave digger, I'm a um, grave robber in a crypt. <laughs> My character man does the, the weirdest things and I'm okay with it. That's the, like the weird part. I'm like, yeah, you, you're such a good guy, man. Nimdi, you are awesome. I think we're gonna find the golden hand, finally. And uh, is it here or is it like in another type of... Oh, okay, hello Sanctum, not now, goodbye. Yeah, I don't think the golden hand will come like that. Is this the way to the golden hand, guys? Do you know? It's not, I'm just gonna search some graves. It's fine. Oh, oh, it's a, it's a strong box. Yes. Come on, scorpion. We, we gotta destroy the strong box. Well, not destroy it, but... And survive this, okay? We were not here to die. We are here to destroy everything and so we're gonna use our army of skeletons to do that. Hello? Oh, what are you? A defiler? I'm a defiler too. I defile graves. Tippy tippy. Okay. Hey, more packets. Uh, are, is my army gone to kill everything? No, they just disappeared. It's fine. Um, what do I do with all these things? Oh God, I, I don't do anything with them. I just, I just uh, leave them be and find the golden hand. Uh, that's my purpose in life. Yeah, I'm definitely going the wrong way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Let's go where the blue thing is. Go that way. And leave all that loot behind. Oh, this looks like the way to a golden thing. Oh, a hello. Oh, okay. You just focus, man. Y you can do it. What are you? Are you a big guy that has something for me? Okay. No, I, I feel like I'm too overpowered, like I'm doing something wrong. Oh. But is there a... I have no pockets. <laughs> oh, found it! Okay. A cat's paw, yes, I, I usually use those, but... Oh, only two? Yes, I need to bring the golden hand to her. So let, let's give up on these. Because they are purple and take whatever... And take whatever fits. I need more can I do anything more here or... Oh, I can. There are, there are mobs here. And they are glowy and this is more like a boss and I, I, and I'm so... I don't know why I called in the army but I, I wanted to make sure I don't die. I just do that and this maybe, yeah. I just kill the thing. Okay, any more here? Of course I have no pockets. Oh, but these have like two links and they are... <laughs> I want to be able to stare at them and figure out if I want to use them. So I think I'm done here. I can uh, use the portal and stop torturing uh, people. Wait, what? I can sell three of the same flask? Time to do a vendor to get the next tier level. Three medium life flasks equals one large. I didn't know that. 